Oh, what a mighty! And in this one, we're gonna have a wee look at this uh, wee cheapo chain of special here. See if it's any good. I did a wee video a while back where I showed that I bought this this wee thing here, and. Uh, I bought a, an inflatable uh, intake uh, smoke device. It's worked quite well. Uh, I've used this a couple of times, but I've never really tested its accuracy against uh, against a, an, another gauge to see, you know. So uh, the main thing about this, uh, I think, is these wee fittings that come with it. These are all 8mm wee uh, quick connect jobbies here. And uh, I have a car in at the minute. It's a way out now, but I have a car. I have a car in the man, and uh, I was in for a brake job, sort of routine stuff. Nothing really interesting, so I never filmed anything with it. But I had half an hour to spare uh, because that particular car has this type of fuel filter on. It's a, a VAG Group car, and it has that eight mil quick connect. So it's it's really awkward where it's placed. It's in front of the back wheel, and uh, it comes directly out of the tank and into there. And then up to the uh, up to the engine, so the wee quick connects just uh, click on like so, and you get an angled one, and there's the the meal side, and uh, you get that straight meal side with it as well, so you can connect it in like so, and then the other side I had it in like that. into the tank so or into the pipe coming from the tank so that was it and it just just hung down uh, on the on the car and ended up upside down but uh we'll be able to read it all right so i want to test it against uh what i usually use which is this big boy here which is a good bit bigger and you can read it a bit better and all that sort of malarkey but uh it has the uh the old click fitting on it and uh you can't really patch into it just as easily as this so you can you can patch that in pretty pretty easy this as far as i remember was 12 pounds on on flea bay so uh yeah it's probably just worth a 12 quid for the the wee connectors never mind the gauge so we're gonna hook it up uh in the back of the car i'll show you that and uh we'll see what the crack is i'll see him get you underneath here and show you the setup so there's a wee boy there and it's upside down because that's uh it's hanging down here so we we'll have the fuel line coming from the tank it's gonna be a bit shaky here now uh fuel line coming from the tank and then it goes down through the gauge and up into the fuel filter so this is the tank side of the fuel filter we're in and uh the wee gauge, wee gauge is going to be upside down but i'll see if we can record uh the both of them at the same time and then we'll flip the image just to to show you so there you go that's a setup there and we also have a, a an analog gauge there a bigger gauge and it's teed into the flow pipe there that's teed in there and that's a return and that's a leak off pipe so it's uh, not very convenient there but it's it's on so that's teed in and so what we'll do is we'll run the pump with the scan tool and we'll have a look at uh, both these gauges and see if they see if they marry up. Right, so ignition's all going to active test here. Fuel pump electronics. And we're gonna start. And then we can see on the screen as well. Just stop that. Right, so we'll just, I'll rotate that image in the edit, 
and to be a bit blurry, but uh, that's it. So I saw a wee bit of discrepancy in the in the gauge, uh, what, it, what it read there, the readings. So I decided to uh, bring this gauge up front, and uh, just think, just think, well, I doubt whether there's a, a big restriction in the filter there. Uh, it's a pretty new filter. It's not brand new, but uh, it's okay. So I'm going to do this test again, and I have it, uh, I have it teed in to where I had that other gauge. So I'll just get the, the fuel pump started here. Okay, we're going to run the pump. We'll just stop that. And I went up to 75. So uh, I've still got the wee T part with the Schrader valve on it, so we'll do a direct comparison. Right, I certainly need three hands to do this, so just bear with me. Let's pump start it. So Big ones reading 60, small ones reading 75. We'll just stop that. Mmm, okay. A bit inaccurate. So it looks like it's not very accurate then. Mmm, it's reading a bit high. So it was going away up. Uh, when it was on the tank, it was going away up to... Uh, up there around there, what would that be? 75, 80, 85, 90, 85, 100, so 75, 80, it was going up to about uh, 85 PSI, which is, uh, the other gauge was showing 60 odds, which is what I would expect, uh, about 50, 60, something like that, uh, with uh, that type of system. So it definitely is showing high. I have used this before now, but I never really wasn't interested in the accuracy. All I was really was looking forward to see if there was any pressure there at all. So, uh, yeah, and a dead read. So, uh, regarding accuracy, yeah, it's uh, not very accurate, but it looks fit. But this, uh, this is what I like to do with all tools, especially cheapo tools. You know, you need to do a comparison with other stuff. I have voltmeters and stuff like that, and, you know, some of them read all over the place. And, uh, you know, you sort, of have to, you sort of have to get to know your stuff, really. Uh, <clears throat> don't expect much for, the, for this here, um, you know, What's the, the old saying? You get what you pay for. If you want a super accurate gauge, you're going to have to pay a bit more than 12 quid. So, so there you go. It may put you off then. It may not. I don't know. It's up to yourself. A lot of these things, uh, when they're advertised, they're showing in uh, MPA. Um, you know, the, this, all the photographs of all the lessons are in MPA. I don't know. That's just, that's just happened to be in PSI. Pays your money and takes your chances. Maybe yours, if you get one, might be a bit more accurate than this one. I don't know. Another thing I did notice was that uh, the the fluid actually ended up it ended up like a wee swimming pool in the glass here of the uh, of the fuel. Uh, so it, it it getting in past the needle or whatever and into the scale. So I don't know. After a while, that I, I don't know where all the numbers will come off. I've used it. I've used it in petrol as well. So it. Uh, it doesn't seem to have harmed it too much. You can see it's pretty dieseled up. But there you go. A couple of bits of lane, few connections. Yeah, you could probably add your own gauge in if you wanted. You could screw that off and, and put a, a better quality gauge on it, which is what I might do. Uh, that's what I might do if I uh, screw it off and get the size of that thread there and uh, put a maybe a better quality gauge on it. And uh, there you are. So... Many thanks for watching, as ever. I hope you enjoyed that. We better maybe give you a bit of food for thought. Uh, you're probably not bothered about that now. So all the best. Bye-bye.